trouble Of a half a dozen trips and a half a dozen slips And the very latest person of the bubble Tis pretty hard to sing and like a round and ring Tis a dreadful naughty puzzle to unravel Though all the papers swore when we touched Virginia shore That Richmond was a hard road to travel Then pull off your overcoat and roll up your sleeve For Richmond is a hard road to travel Then pull off your overcoat and roll up your sleeve For Richmond is a hard road to travel I believe Hi, good morning. Bam and Dave with you. We're out here in the uh, Bamazon jungle. Um, me and uh, Sandy, who's over there, just dug a chunk of iron. Anyway, so we're out here in this thick, uh, seeing if we can find anything this morning. So you can see behind me, we're just kind of again hunting rabbit trails in here and seeing, finding little open spots and hunting them. So we'll come back to you when we find something. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, me and Sandy have uh, walked down the hill through the uh, jungle, didn't find anything, so we decided to come back up the hill to where I found a few bullets last time, and you know what they all say, uh, relics are where you find them, well, that's what we should have just done, and just stayed hunkered down in the spire here, because uh, as soon as we sat down for a minute, uh, I started detecting again, I got a good signal, and right here in this hole I just recovered my uh, first mini of the day it's a nice nice drop uh, three ringer so a uh, union three ringer so uh, so we're real pleased with that we're going to continue to hunker down in this area see if we can find anything else we will come back to you okay well it's a little bit warm today uh, not like it was last time I was out here it's overcast thundering um, but uh, I just dug a bullet right there, and literally two feet away, I got another signal. It's a good one. Let's go ahead and recover it together. It's kind of under this root here somewhere. Let me see it. Hang on. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That one is beautiful. I ain't even hard to, hardly have to clean that one. Wow. That is a... That's a beautiful bullet right there. Love that. Beautiful patina. It's very nice. Though. I'll come back to you and find something else. Thanks a lot. I see this big old spider this time. He's about, oh, about four inches across his leg. Big old web right here. It's about. I don't know, about five feet across. That's a big, big web, but I'm fixing to have to get him out of the way because I don't like running into him. And banana spider's time of year. He can make his web back tonight, but right now we're going to have to make it go away. So, anyway, kind of interesting, though. We'll come back to you when we find something. Well, it's been a while. Um... um Hitting an area that's uh, been picked over over the years, so you know you're just trying to find uh, things they missed. But I just got a really good signal uh, hitting in the 70s and 80s, and that's not even deep, really, about uh, about maybe five inches down. But uh, I can just see it in the pile. So let's go ahead and see what it is. I'm, this is an area I was digging Williams cleaners in last time, so uh, let's see maybe it's something good. Can you see it right there? There's the Tina. Oh, there's a three ringer. Nice, uh, nice drop three ringer. So we'll go ahead and recover that. I think. Yeah. Yep. Nice drop three ringer. One of those short variants. Okay. Uh, Bama Dave with you here. Um, I'm on a new permission. It's uh, part of an old plantation uh, that goes back to the 1850s. Uh, it's a smaller one. Uh, I'm hoping that this area might have seen some Civil War activity. I'm looking for a skirmish site that I've been looking for for quite a while. Um, and every place that I go, at least I can... Uh, this is a, kind of an important skirmish site to me just for the, uh, the person that was involved in it. So I've been looking for this for several years. And I'm hoping... Here eventually I'm going to I'm going to find narrow down exactly where it was, but um, 
it's another opportunity to scratch something off the board at least. But uh, I was going through these really thick woods, and I mean, you can see behind me it's really thick. And then I came here and just it, the whole place just opens up. It's really amazing. Um, these really old, uh, really old live oaks here, and it's opened up some soft pal soft palmetto there. Um, I'm hoping this means maybe there was an old homestead here or something. I don't know. These are some big old trees. Um, and it's, we'll see if there's anything here, but I just had to show that to you because it's really, really neat how this just opens up. But uh, it may be nothing, but uh, hopefully there'll be something here. So we're going to hunt around here for a little bit and see what happens, and we'll come back to you when we find something. something you don't see all the time. This is a big old June bug or cicada. I call them June bugs down here. But it's a big old cicada and you can see this banana spider has uh, got himself a meal or she has. That's a female I believe. And it's got a, uh, a big old cicada that uh, she's munching on. These are big old spiders. There's another one right there. Right in front of it. It's got something too. But wow that's a that's a big <laughs> it's a big bug, and you can see this net is strong enough to tackle it, and uh, there's no no worries for this big old spider. I'm glad I saw it before uh, before I ran into it. That's pretty nasty. But uh, anyway, it's kind of interesting to see them out here doing their thing. Unfortunately, this site has not produced anything. Uh, a few shotgun shells, but uh, this is interesting. I did recover a couple of... Uh, I was on an old Spanish land grant this morning, and found a couple of 36 round balls and uh, but and a couple of uh, homemade fishing sinkers but uh, nothing nothing to write home about really uh, this is pretty much the most interesting thing I found today so anyway thanks for watching we'll come back to you quick wrap up at the bar uh, my finds from the last couple hunts not a whole lot I uh, did recover three bullets. Um, a couple of them are these uh, nice uh, swage base. Uh, these are machine made uh, bullets. So those are pretty nice and uh, interesting to find. So I got one of those and then just another uh, three ringer that I dug. Looks like it has an old cut mark on it. But uh, it's a nice pretty patina. Um, this morning I went to, well, I went to a couple places today. First place I went to was an old land grant. Uh, dates back to the uh, early 1800s. Real junky, but I uh, did recover a couple of uh, 36 caliber round balls um, and some homemade, uh, they're probably fishing weights based on where I found it. These are cut lead. You can see they got a hole in them. Could be net weights, fishing sinkers. Or, you know, Normally I'm not going to keep those things, but uh, you can kind of see what they are based on what they are. And I started thinking, well, these may be split shot, but I look at them, they do have a little sprue mark on the top. So these are most likely uh, just pistol balls. Um, so not a whole lot there. And then the second place I went to this afternoon looking for a skirmish site, uh, struck out there. And it seems like a lot of times when people readily give you permission to go somewhere, that uh, it's because there's nothing there. <laughs> um, and the uh, lady that owned the place and said that people had come out there before looking and did not found anything so uh, that's what happens sometimes you gotta you gotta mark a place off your off your list and try somewhere else so thanks for watching